Okay. This is um call this Del Rey Military by Vegetius. This is my notes regarding it. So um so all in all this is twenty nine thirty thousand words. So like yeah, very short novel. Um but if you like okay, if I if I look at this selection very good mechanics. So this uh, I could probably distill this to half a page. Um, this section selection of recruits and um, initial training. I could probably make this so initial training. There is tra initial training mechanic. I could easily do this in GURPS. Um, I'm thinking about doing it in Dungeons and Dragons, but what's the point? Right? If you play Dungeons and Dragons, you're not interested in this. Um, that's one of those interesting things about this. Like uh, uh, these are primary sources. Uh, so uh, the person talking in these books have firsthand and most direct experience about it. He's just uh, particularly Vegetius when he's talking about the the problems in the Roman army in the fourth century. I think. Fourth or third century, so um, so yeah, uh, I made um, word uh, word shared file using this, and one of the things I want to do, but which is conflicting with my work, is my work in my studies in pinball and work, is that uh, making these texts more accessible. Um, what I mean by more accessible is that. Um, People will read this, and um, they see the gaming aspect of it uh, more readily. Like example would be uh, this one, um, entrenched camps. So these he has a long-winded discussion here about what went wrong with the empire. But um, it's uh, he. The key points are here. The key points like what what's expected, uh, what is um, what, what is expected, what should you do every day, what are the day to day activities, and what over course of a three month campaign or a six month campaign, what will be expected. Of um, a soldier and what we'll have a lot of practice in per season or per campaign. So these are the things that um, I'd like to make more accessible. Take out the stuff, make it as bullet point as possible. Make that first sentence describe everything that's um, the key idea, and then just every other sentence specifying and uh, making it clearer. So these are one of the things I want to do. As a hobby, but um, it's not. Uh, it's not. Uh, call this. Uh, I wish I could find time to do it. So as you can see, I'm experimenting with uh, having uh, two columns. So let's try three, and then more columns, and then reducing the the spacing between the two. Uh, not very nice I think it's still better too um, so right now I'm hell so I'm right now thinking about how better to do this how better to make this like I've seen the text how it looks like on the on the print sample and um, thinking of changing um, the ooh, that went bad. Changing the the formatting so remove space after paragraph. Make it single spaced. And indents are so huge. Um, yeah, so in trench caps, these are. Um, 
when I think about this and I think about how uh, we played airsoft and we played we had we played with heavy gear and how much we hated carrying all that gear, but you can now I can now really understand why these soldiers would stop wearing it, how hot it is and how much work it is and how much how much this has to be drilled into you so you can do this without thinking. It's second nature. You're cleaning your gear. You're polishing it. You're preparing it, and you're taking note of what you forget. Like I'm sure, if I was in this era, I'd have the wax notebook, the wa the wax wax tablet, and I'd be writing down a lot of notes of stuff I forgot, on our or th uh, things that I should be doing. Um, yeah. So um, I'd like to be able to clear this up. Yeah. So I think if I close the navigation. I want to close it a lot. I just want to like see how much it looked like. It. Yeah, I think this is how it's going to look like if it was uh, um, uh, actually printed out. So yeah, the text is kind of big. I can afford to go a little bit uh, to three columns, but I'm but the indentations here are huge. I'd like the smaller indentations, but I don't know how to fix that yet. Yeah, the idea, the uh, objective is to make this more accessible and have somebody more, um, um, some people see this, see historical text and immerse themselves in, you know, time travel and immer immerse themselves in this and see what, what this is all about much more easily than seeing it as something so far away and not relevant to them. It's well, the great thing about RPGs is you tend to be able to um, um, call this uh, immerse yourself, transform your trans, uh, transfer yourself into another time and era uh, almost effortlessly as long as you have enough uh, data. So yeah, uh, so yeah, I'm just giving this a try and um, yeah, giving this a try. Okay, stop.